Hey guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another sourcing haul. Everything that we picked up this past trip to Second Avenue, I'm super excited about. You guys know I'm super excited about anything that we thrift for really because it's the possibility of flipping it and making some money. So another thing is I am in front of my window in my kitchen so the lighting may fluctuate in and out as I show you different items. So just bear with me if I turn too white or I turn orange or red or any funky color probably won't turn blue but if I do now you know why but Rick and I did hit up the second avenue thrift this past Monday and that's when they have some 50% off colors so this particular time green and orange were 50% and violet and yellow were 33% off so we really made out as far as I'm concerned I'm sure I put in the title we got over 24 pieces of LuLaRoe which is new without the tags I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet if I'm going to do pre-owned or new without tags but I could definitely tell that this was a kit like somebody who sold LuLaRoe and these were their samples they do not have the tags on them but they have never been worn there's no pilling nowhere at all no stretchiness nothing and we did get these for just around four dollars so we did pay up for them but in the hopes that we can lot them up typically we don't like to spend more than four dollars on LuLaRoe anything just because the market for that has went down as of late but because we got so many pieces we thought that this was a smart investment to lot them together because there are a bunch of different designs and they're also tall and curvy so that being said if you guys see any of these leggings or any of these items that you want go ahead and shoot me a, a comment down below and we can hook up or DM me on Instagram and we will figure out something outside of my selling platforms. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into the haul and I'll show you what we found at our latest trip at the Second Avenue Thrift Store. So first are the leggings. Now I'll go through most of them, but I'm not going to sit here and go through 20, you know, some pairs of leggings. I'll just kind of do it pretty fast. Now what we did notice, a lot of them were red, white, and blue themed or Valentine's Day themed themed and like I said they all were tall and curvy so the first design is like this red white and blue yeah and they are in the best shape ever and we have a lot of doubles too so these ones here are hearts and stars actually yeah there are hearts on there so that was a cute one this was another different one again hearts so I'm not sure if this was you know, if there was other ones and we just got there when it just so happened to be these ones left or what. We did find a blue pair. I may even keep a couple of them for myself. And I haven't let my mom go through them yet. She really likes LuLaRoe leggings. Are these the ones? There's definitely a pair that I'm going to keep for myself. But I'll show you those when I get to them. It might be these. Yeah, these are like kind of florally. Love them. I just couldn't believe how many. And then I was feeling bad. Like Rick and I both had them laying over our shoulders like this, like all the way up to here, just grabbing them off the hangers. It was so exciting. And we were like, okay, do we really want to spend this much? See, most of them still had the tag from the LuLaRoe. I think that they were just taken off. Again, more hearts and kind of like an arrow design there. These ones were pretty fun. Different. So it was funny too. We were in the legging aisle and I said, we need to look through this a little bit. And he was like, okay. So we had two right there. And I said, what do you think? Which one's LuLaRoe? And we said both. And we looked and it was, we really don't find a ton of LuLaRoe where we live. So some more hearts. We found a couple pieces, but nothing much. I'm trying to keep track of ones I already showed you. I know we didn't show you these ones yet. They just say love, love, love. Yeah, it's like I picked through their Valentine's Day collection or something. Those ones there are super cute. Now, we may have to wait until Valentine's Day to get rid of most of these. These are super cute, too. Look at those love those I wish that there were some different patterns other than like you know fourth of July or Valentine's Day like more of this kind of stuff but you know what it's okay I definitely think somebody cleaned it out before us because why would somebody unload just you know their themed ones this one says love 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 and 
Oh, man, and to find them all tall and curvy, if anything was like the one size fits most, I wouldn't have gotten them all. Some more like sketch tarts. So cute. All right, let's see here, folks. All right, these ones are pretty cool, too. They have the Statue of Liberty with little bow ties. Love them. Oh, man, they're so cute. Okay, I think that that is most of the ones. Did I show you these? There's so many. Especially with the hearts on them. Jeez Louise. We have this one here. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to whip through the LuLaRoe so we can get to the other part of the haul. More hearts, chevron hearts. These ones here are pretty. We got a couple of those. So yeah, you see we got a couple of those ones. And then we got more of the love hearts. <laughs> There's so many. And then like cursive love. And then we have these hearts. I think that's it's close, but not quite. More hearts. And more hearts. So you can see we have quite a few hearted up leggings. Maybe we'll have a Valentine's Day party or something to give them to all of our friends and family. Oh, and then these ones were pretty cool too. They're kind of like the love colors, but they're not specifically 4th of July. I mean, uh, yeah, Valentine's Day. Another thing that we found that's pretty rare in our area is a Robert Graham shirt. As soon as I saw this logo, I was like, yes, because we found a pair of Robert Graham shorts not that long ago at this exact store. And it actually, I think that they ended up being knockoffs, which is really sad, but what are you going to do? And then this is a Tommy Bahama shirt. It's just a men's shirt, extra large, very soft, of course. Tommy Bahama never disappoints with the quality, that's for sure. And then here are two Orvis shirts that I want a lot together. They're two blue. They seem more of like a modern style Orvis. So it's just a nice little shirt. Now, I inspected them. Everything seemed good. And then when I got home, I took pictures of this one. So it's the same exact thing, same size, everything. And when it flashed, I noticed, you see a slight discoloration under the armpits. So I'm going to wash this again and see if that will come out. And if it won't, then we will have to decide what we're going to do with those. Maybe even discount it and put it in the description box. You know, this has, you know, stains here and pointed out. I'm not really sure. Okay, so we did pick up a couple pairs of shoes. Let me go ahead and zip through those really quickly. And then we'll get into the rest of the clothing. First up are these brown New Balance shoes. And they seemed in really good shape. We sold a couple pairs of these um so far wow that says twenty dollars and they weren't they were actually violet so they were $6.99 um with 33 percent off of that but yeah we did that's what i was saying we got a pair of these from salvation army a few months ago and they sold within a week so i was happy to have the brown ones and then here are a pair of Timberland, and they're called Earth Keepers. So they're just a nice pair of shoes. They have the flags around there. I'm not sure what that means, but they're a really nice pair of men's Timberland, kind of like, um, I'm drawing a blank, I think like loafers, but they were half off of $6.99. Really great prices yesterday at 2nd Avenue. Cannot complain. I feel like it's hit or miss sometimes. Did get a pair of Asics, and they're the gel, what's that called? Gel Cumulus 15. So these are a really nice looking pair of tennis shoes. Rick and I were saying if they fit him, we would have kept them for him. But they were half off of $6.99. And then, of course, a pair of shape-ups. Now, these are not lace-up. They are actually uh, Velcro, which we cannot put Velcro in our listings because of 
a Vero Strike. But I will take these all day long and they were half off of $6.99 and they're in great shape. Guys, a little tip if you like to haul shape ups, sometimes this part here, it's more of like a squishy foam, can deteriorate. We have had a one customer who bought a pair. They were not Skechers, they were another brand. Can think of the name right now. And I did notice some of the paint was chipping off of the foam. She said that they fell apart after a week. So we did refund her because, you know, we didn't like do a wear test in the store, like push down on it. And now we definitely do because we just basically, oh, that looks like a nice shoe. Clean it up, take some pictures, list it and ship it to a buyer when it sells. So we didn't think to do like a press test. So definitely do that for this part. This one's in great shape. And then last but not least is a pair that I may keep myself if they fit. They are a pair of Sanook slides and they're really nice canvas slide and these were 33% off of $5.99 but they are my size so I'm going to see if they fit me. If they do, they're, they're all mine. If not, they'll still sell. Sanook is a great, great brand to buy. All right, those were the shoes. Let's get through some of the clothing. Now, starting with these Joe's jeans, I actually picked them up for Jordan. They're like a long Bermuda short, size eight. Now, I don't know if these are kids or adults. I'm assuming that they are kids, but they don't fit her. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look it up. I know they put a number on here. So yeah, nice little pair of Bermuda shorts. Next, we have these Kato denim. They're new with tags. I only bought them because they are size 26, so they're a big size, and they're gorgeous. Check this out, guys. They're so pretty. They have the distressing, some embroidering there. Very nice. Love these. And then the bottom is cropped, so these are very nice. I'm excited for somebody to buy these, and I already got those up on Poshmark because I was really excited to get those up. Next, we got a pair of True Religion, and they are the Joey style. So what I like about these is how that seam runs right down the middle of the jean. Really nice pair of True Religions there. Couple more jeans and then we have some other things. I love these too. They're a pair of American Eagle, but they are embroidered with like a navy flower. And then they have some distressing too. And these are actually skinny flare. So they're stretchy, skinny, and they're flare. So that's a lot to handle right there. We have a Nike Performance Golf Squirt, size 12. These I will always pick up. They're such a great, great flipper. Easy to sell, easy to take pictures of. I just love them. These are just a pair of American, I mean, Old Navy, the Dreamer pants. The Dreamer is a little bit more curvy, and these are size 16. The next three things are the same items, but one still has the tag on it, and these two here do not. I believe they are new without the tag. So they're a Nike skirt, or skirt, but you can see it's nice and ruffly. That one is a pink one, and then there's a gray one. So we went ahead and we're going to lot these two up. They're so cute, nice and ruffly. And then this one is the white one that does have the tag on it. So this one is orange and white. And you can see these are originally $55. So they're no joke. They're pricey. But it's so cute. Can you imagine somebody, this doesn't fit me, nor would I wear a skirt like this. But imagine somebody like out there playing tennis or golf with this. They'll look so cute. One more sports skirt, skirt like that, and it's this Nike green one. It's kind of like an ombre green, and it has the shorts underneath, so very cute. Getting a little out of season for that, but that's okay. It was a great price. It was 50% off, so we went ahead and picked it up. Same thing with this Columbia Extra Large Omni Shield skirt. Such a great size kind of cinched on the sides there so that should be fun all right we're almost to the end of our tote here I have these oh actually guys these are a pair of lucky brand I hauled for you guys last week tell me how I did I bleached them and I put some paint on them because they ended up having a stain 
I don't know if you can see, I bleached them out and put a bunch of like paint dots and they're cropped and they're cute. So we'll see how they do. Those are customized by me. So we'll see. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny saying that. These are some Converse swimming trunks. I just thought they were really cute. Have a little pocket on the side, the Converse on the back. These ones are so cool. They're J. Crew. I believe they're really old. Look at this J. Crew tag. You guys will have to let me know. And they're like burgundy and pink. Gorgeous. They have the flowers going on. They are so nice. Another pair of jeans. These are Joe's jeans. And I believe these are the men's. No, these are the women's, but they're size 31. So they're a nice big size. I think that we'll do well with these guys here. Did get quite a few jeans. Over the summer, we've been just browsing the jeans for just ones that stick out to us. And this time we decided to look one by one because we're getting into the fall time and we need to get this stuff up. A pair of seven for all mankind men's jeans. Ended up making out really good with these. These sold, I mean, these were half off of $7.99. So whoever was scanning that day didn't know what they had there. Or, you know, sometimes that's what they'll put for boutique items is $7.99. But if you catch it on a half off day, you'll really be in like luck. We got these um, Nike. They're so pretty. It's such a cool looking green. I don't even know how to explain it. And then it has like the orange check on the side. But that green, it's like so icy and pretty. And then here are the men's Joes, I believe. Yes, these are the Joes jeans that are men's. And you can always tell, guys, which ones are men's and women's because I got confused on these two. But men's jeans always have the, for the most part, always have the deeper pocket. If you can only fit your hand in about this much, it's typically a woman's jean. So keep that in mind when you're shopping and you're getting confused with the sizes because I almost put on the other pair that's women's that they were men's and I couldn't really even get my hand into the pocket so I'm glad I did that check um here's a pair of Lacoste khaki shorts these will be great for back to school you have to think a lot of kids have to wear uniforms that involve khaki shorts so keep that in mind while sourcing oh this was a cool find it's a Harley Davidson black corduroy shirt so nice long sleeve nice and fall you know a lot of these biker guys are hanging out now but come october and september they're going to be going to meets together and i mean i just feel like a lot of people that ride bikes ride them in the spring and summer but i would feel fall would be the best time to ride with my friends so that will be there waiting for them to come and buy it we got some Tommy Hilfiger new with tag uh, cargo khakis. I'm not sure if boys can wear these to school um, with the cargo style, but if they can, then I will be ready to sell these to them. Running out of space. I only got a few things left, guys, so hang in there. If you made it this far, go ahead and put a green heart down below. And if you don't have emojis, just write green heart. I like to see how far you guys have made it in these videos. These are a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren shorts. Mainly got them for the color. I know a lot of people seek a certain fits out in certain colors, and they don't necessarily have, you know, the pink out all year long. This was one of my favorite finds. I actually just posted it on our Bricks Bargains Instagram, so follow us over there. But it is a box logo, Tommy Hilfiger, uh, like Hawaiian shirt. And you can see throughout it, it does say, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it'll say like Hilfiger right there. I just think that this is the coolest shirt ever. I anticipate this selling fairly quickly, that's for sure. All right, let's see what else. Here's another really cool item. It's actually Stussy, and they are bathing suit men's swim trunks. And they're just a cool, cool design. And this is the label there, and it is Stussy. I remember Stussy being popular a few years ago, so I'm hoping it's still, you know, holding true. Did get a pair of new tags, J. Crew, blue with red crabs. 
So they were super fun. And they're new with tags. They're J. Crew Factory, actually, but they still had a $55 tag on them, which is absolutely insane. And then we got an Old Navy pair that had little lobsters. I just know anything that we've had like this has sold with little designs on them. Besides one J. Crew um, skirt that we have, it's a baby blue corduroy skirt with little puppies on it. I'm wondering why that hasn't sold. It's been over a year. I'll have to go into that listing and see what's up. But we did get another Tommy Box logo. It's kind of like a purple, just a button up. I just love anything with that old school Tommy logo. I mean, I try not to do anything. But if it's a nice top like this, I figured it would sell. Two more items, guys. We have these Hollister shorts, and these are new with tags as well. Again, going back to the school uniforms, a lot of teenagers love Hollister, American Eagle, Abercrombie, and parents were strapped around this time of year. So I know even at the thrift store, I picked Michael up a couple of Nike outfits for school, you know, discounted in really great shape. So they'll be looking for those shorts discounted. And the last thing is a graphic tee by Bravado, and it's the Stones. And it's from the North America Tour 1981. Now, I don't know if this was actually from 1981, but what I do know is that it's really cool and somebody will love it. So we'll just wait for that to sell. Well, guys, that was everything that we picked up from Second Avenue this week. I'm really excited to get these items up on our eBay store and our Poshmark closet. If you don't already, follow our eBay store and our Poshmark closet and comment on one of my listings in my closet so I can can follow you back and share a bunch of your listings. I've definitely tried to do that in the past with anybody who leaves me their Poshmark closet or comes over there and comments on one of my listings. Also, Amber, thank you for buying one of my mystery boxes. Amber is getting my $15 mystery box where she will get at least $30 worth of products, which spoiler alert, she got over $80 worth of products. So Amber, I appreciate you so much. Your box should be to you shortly. And if you didn't know about my mystery mystery boxes. Go on over to my Poshmark. I am loading people up on beauty products. You will not be disappointed. Trust me. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow the store on all of our social medias and I will see you all in my next video.